Waheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Waheguru Ji Ki Fateh. Welcome to another facts video. This time, we have five amazing facts you may not have known about Vesaki. Fact number one, Guruji tells the future. In a time where Hindus were being forcefully converted to Islam by the Emperor of India, a group of Hindu leaders came to Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji for help. Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji was the ninth Sikh Guru and he agreed to single-handedly represent the whole Hindu faith before Emperor Aurangzeb. The Emperor knew that if he converted Guruji, then all the Hindus would also convert. When the call went out to the crowd of people, only three Sikhs stepped forward to stand with Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji. The three Sikhs were killed. But Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji did not give in and was beheaded protecting the Hindus. You can watch an animation on this right here. Bhai Jetta Ji brought Guruji's precious head to the 10th Guru, Guru Gobind Rai Ji. When Guruji heard what had happened to their father, they asked some really tough questions. Guruji asked Bhai Jetta Ji why the other Sikhs in the crowd remained silent. Did they not feel embarrassed? Guruji also asked why the Sikhs couldn't be recognized in the crowd of people. On that day, in 1675, Guruji told of what would happen in the future. They proclaimed that in the future a day would come when the Sikhs would be blessed with such a form that they would stand out from the crowd. Guru Gobind Rai Ji said the Sikhs would be brave, disciplined and spiritual. But it wasn't until 1699, 24 years later, that Guruji created the Khalsa and delivered on their promise. Fact number two, the eyewitness account. Emperor Aurangzeb had instructed someone called Abul Durrani to spy on Guru Gobind Singh Ji. The spy sent reports back to Aurangzeb for two years until Vasaki 1699. In his own words, Abul Durrani wrote down what he witnessed that day that the Khalsa was created. When he speaks about Guruji asking for the heads five times, taking those heads and bringing the five Sikhs back to life with the power of Amrit. Amazed by what he had seen, Abul Durrani was blessed with Amrit himself and his name was changed to Ajmer Singh. His final report to Aurangzeb detailed exactly how the Khalsa was created and even warned the Emperor that Guru Gobind Singh Ji was God and to fight against the Guru would mean the end of Emperor Aurangzeb's dynasty. Fact number three, the warrior birds. When Guru Gobind Singh Ji was preparing the Amrit, two birds flew down nearby. Guruji poured some of the Amrit into a separate bowl and the birds drank from this and everyone was shocked to see what happened next. Both birds became infused with a warrior spirit and began fighting each other. Despite their injuries, neither bird gave in and both birds died fighting. Seeing all of this, a Sikh called Bhai Gurbakshji went to Mata Jitoji, the wife of Guru Gobind Singh Ji, and said if the Sikhs become like this, then they'll constantly fight each other too. Mata Jitoji agreed and sweet patase were added to the Amrit to ensure the Khalsa would be fierce warriors who were also very loving and sweet. This is known as Sant Sibahi, the saint soldier way of life. Fact number four, Mata Jitoji and Mata Saib Gurji. Mata Jitoji was the wife of Guru Gobind Singh Ji and she is also known as Mata Ajit Gorji. Mata Jitoji meditated a lot and was of a very high spiritual level to the extent that she knew what the future held for the Char Sevzade, the four sons of Guru Gobind Singh Ji. With Baba Ajit Singh Ji and Baba Jujar Singh Ji giving their lives on the battlefield and Baba Zorawar Singh Ji and Baba Fateh Singh Ji being bricked alive. Mata Jitoji then asked Guru Gobind Singh Ji if she could leave her body as she would not be able to live through the death of all four sons. Guruji accepted her wish and on the 5th of December 1700, Mata Ji left her body. Now Mata Saib Gorji's father offered his daughter's hand in marriage to Guru Gobind Singh Ji. This was after the Khalsa was formed in 1699. In those days, 
if a marriage proposal was rejected, it brought great shame on the person. So Guru Gobind Singh Ji accepted on the grounds that it would not be a physical marriage and they would not bear any children together. However, Guru Gobind Singh Ji did bless Mata Sahib Gorji with the role of the mother of the whole Khalsa, blessing her with countless children. When someone is blessed with Amrit, the Khalsa are told that their father is Guru Gobind Singh Ji and their mother is Mata Sahib Gorji. Fact number five, Singh and Gaur meanings. Guru Gobind Singh Ji blessed all males with the name Singh and all females with the name Gaur. These were special titles which elevated everyone to the level of royalty. But what do they mean? Well, for those of you Singhs out there, your name means a lion. Interestingly, Guru Nanak Dev Ji themselves were described as a lion too. Bhai Gurdas Ji, the nephew of Guru Amar Das Ji, described the coming of Guru Nanak Dev Ji as the sun coming to dispel the darkness. Then they say, Singh Buke Miragavali Panni Jai Natira Taroa meaning that Guru Nanak Dev Ji roared like a lion and the deers, meaning the darkness, ran away. But what about Gaur? The word Gaur can be taken to mean princess, but historically it meant prince. But why call females a prince? Well, historically, a kingdom would always pass to a prince, not a princess. So in one respect, Guru Gobind Singh Ji is showing gender equality by making all females on the same level as a royal male. Men and women are both equal in Sikhi and they are both royalty. So there you have it, five facts you may not have known about Basaki. If you want to see our brand new animation telling the whole story, then click right here. On behalf of everyone at Basics of Sikhi, we wish you a very happy Basaki. Vahe Guruji ka Khalsa, Vahe Guruji ki Fateh. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share and subscribe. Please donate and help spread Guruji's message. Link is in the description below. Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh.